We are here at the Guggenheim Museum examining the beautiful sculpture Maman, created in 1999 by Louise Bourgeois for the Unilever series for Tate Modern's Vast Turbine Hall. What do you think about this sculpture? Um, I think that it is a very personal and autobiographical piece like her other works, especially in terms of relating to her childhood and the pains of her childhood. The title Maman translates to mother in French as well. That's very interesting. Um, she actually grew up in France and she later moved to New York City with her husband. Yeah, um, she was affiliated with artists such as Pablo Picasso and the Primitive Art Movement. Her husband was actually a pioneer in the Primitive Art Movement. In 1954, she joined the American Abstract Artist Group. Yeah, there's certainly a lot going on and, and um, with a lot of Europeans uh, migrating over to the United States, especially in New York City. I mean, there was just there was all kinds of movements going on, and she probably had a lot of influence from those movements. Yeah, especially with uh, World War II going on. Um, well, anyways, she really conveys the feelings of isolation and her childhood pains in her work, especially in Maman. The spider has almost a nurturing essence with protecting her eggs, which hang underneath her. It shows her mom as a weaver of the home, the organizer, and the strength of her mother. And I think I think the spider definitely also alludes to her mother's career as a tapestry repairer and her father's textile restoration workshop in Paris. I mean, it it really yeah it really alludes to that. Yeah, speaking of her father, that reminds me of another uh, work that is autobiographical. The piece is named Couple Four, which talks about infidelity. This draws from an experience in her childhood when her father was actually cheating on her mother with her English teacher as well as her nanny and probably many other women. Man, what a jerk! Wow. Um, this well, and I think it also like if you look at if you look at the lacy adornment on the lady's leg that's underneath the man. Um, it definitely, it adds that really scandalous aspect to it. It just makes, it really shows how, like, a Louise definitely felt about it, you know. It really, like, it really molded, you can tell it, can re it really molded the, her perspective of sexuality and her view of the role of woman. Yeah, and you can also see that in her piece, Untitled 2002, which gives a clear view of how she sees femininity and her view of how she saw her mother and how after she was cheated on by her husband. Yeah, it's like very constricting. It's like it shows how her mom, I mean, kind of like isolated herself. Like she she accepted that her that her husband did that to her that she he would cheat on her and she just kind of like let it, you know, um just not affect her. Yeah, Bourgeois's work also tends to remind me of Kiki Smith's work. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. especially in her piece titled Me Sitting in a Corner, which um, and, like, you know, in terms of the feelings of isolation and pain from her childhood events. And it's also very constricting. Yeah, I can see that. And just how they both look at femininity. And I think, honestly, I mean, if you think about both of their childhoods, they had very similar childhoods in the sense that they had a lot of suffering. And you can see in some of their pieces that they really pulled from those experiences. Yeah, definitely. Well, it was a beautiful piece, and it was fun looking at it. Yep. Time to move on.